Hi everyone! My name is Javi, I can draw. Welcome to a new week, new video. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know that last week I tried to decipher how to draw shoulders. Now, I've always had trouble with shoulders. I never knew what the back muscles were doing. I never knew exactly how everything attached. I didn't know where the shoulder blades go. And that is mainly because, well, I have several shoulders problems and that means that I can choose my own body as reference. Uh, so this week when I wanted to start drawing shoulders, I didn't just want to jump into it and try to figure it out while drawing, because it didn't make any sense if I didn't know where the muscles went. So I, the first thing I had to do was do my research and here is what I found. Now, the first thing that I started looking for was a bit of bone structure. I realized that there is a really good tutorial that I found already where we did all the neck because the, the bones that surround the shoulders are the same that surround the neck and that is the clavicle and the scapula. So there is this really good tutorial by Nemonoa. I'm going to link you again to this tutorial because it shows how the scapula moves when you're lifting your arm and when you're moving it and whatnot, and that is really good to see because the muscles that I have problems understanding how to draw are muscles that are connected to the scapula itself. So there is this other tutorial by Bar Jody on DeviantArt that shows the same bone uh, movement that I was showing you from the Nevanova uh, tutorial, but it also shows it starts connecting some of the muscles that are connected to the scapula. Now here's the thing, all of those muscles are in most cases like are they're one on top of each other. So the muscles when you're trying to draw back muscles, the ones that are more complicated are because there are below other muscles that are greater and they are part of great uh, bodies of muscles like here the dorsal one and there is of course if we're going to talk like deeper anatomy of muscles and how they move. I'm going to talk about Proco and there are two Proco videos for learning how to draw these back muscles that I'm talking about. I'm going to link them both. They're going to be linked on the link below. And finally, so make it, we can make this really quick, I found this tutorial that is just kind of like how to draw anime kind of thing, but uh, it shows some really good motion examples with all the muscle groups. This one is by... Valentina Remanar, it's also from DeviantArt, I'm going to give you a link for that one and it's, uh, well, it's pretty useful. But here is the thing that I learned looking at this tutorial and the thing is that shoulder muscles come in threes. Yes, why is that? Because the deltoid muscle, that is this one, your shoulder muscle, is actually made of three different muscles. There's one here, one on top, and one here on the back. Now the other muscles that are connected to the scapula it's also a group of other three muscles and those three muscles are going to be below the deltoid and they're going to be also covered by this dorsal muscle. Now looking at all this research I started thinking like well maybe the shoulder blades, the scapulas, the uh, like knowing that there are muscles that are directly attached to it Maybe that was kind of the key to figuring out what the, the muscles were doing in the back. So I grabbed a lot of reference image and see if I could place each muscle depending on the image that I was looking at. Trying to figure out where every muscle go and what every muscle did. And well, this is what I found out. So, let's uh, first Let's do this. I'm going to use a pinky-ish color and I'm going to focus on the muscles that should be in the scapula. Now, you know that there are three muscles. One that is really big that occupies most of the scapula. It comes this way, one that is really tiny, and then one that is this one that you see here, I believe. Now, the same thing applies uh, here. I, I am so I don't think this scapula is right. Let me see. Because, well, this is not easy. It's going to take some time to figure this out. But if you stick with me, I might finally do it. So, 
this is this part because you see the scapula is not just in the back it goes all the way up to here and there it connects to the clavicle so that would be like that you can all you can see this curve here so it should be something like this i don't think it's very different from what i drew before but let's see so this muscle is actually this one is really stretched out the one from the bottom and then the other two are here they're all pretty stretched out but the main thing i wanted to do with this particular image was to figure out the shoulder muscles you see the shoulder uh, the deltoid that is this muscle is divided in three parts one in the front one in the top and one in the back now you can see this one right here the one in the back You can see the one in the top right here. And you can see the one in the front right here. This is part of the pectoral muscle here. So they are all attached to that part. And this is what I wanted to try to figure out because I think that the trapezius that comes on top does something like this. But I don't really understand the connection between this one and this one let's see if i can figure it out here so here's the back muscle here's the one on the top and here's the one on the front and the trapeze should be doing something like this so i am assuming that it, this connects from underneath and then it's all bulky because I don't know. I don't honestly know why it's so bulky. Is it? Oh yeah, because it's, it's pulling this. So it compresses this part. It compresses this part of the trapezius to, to lift it up. And then it compresses this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Sorry, zooming out. So, with this one I have some issues because, well, this guy is actually so muscular that I have no real clue if the uh, scapula is actually where I drew it. Because this is just a big bulk of muscle. Let's, I wanted, with this drawing, I wanted to identify the deltoid once again. And see it begins like the back muscle is this bulge here I'm going to reduce this just a bit it's this big bulge here that comes this way then you have the one on top here and then the frontal one here and they all follow you know this part that is what I assume is going to be the scapula now if we're going to be talking about the muscles that are attached to the scapula, those three muscles, uh, I think uh, you can kind of see them like this is going to be one and this is going to be another and this should be kind of like this, it would be like this. I drew like, well, if you're going to be doing something like uh, the bone, Wait, 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 wait. I think I got it. I need a blue here. If this is going to be the bone, and we're not going to be doing the muscles of uh, the arm, now this one on the back would come all the way from behind the bone to attach this, and these two would come this way. Right, you don't see it because the arm is there blocking it. And on top of all of it, we would have here will come the dorsal muscle, this one, and the trapeze, all bulky here, you can see here, will come this way. Is this making any sense to you? 
because I feel like very mainly I'm just talking to myself and not talking to you, but I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, once again, the scapula muscles. Well, here they're a lot better defined. You can see that the one that is uh, the lower one is here and is huge. Now this this one that should go like here to the arm is compressed because it's it's the one that does this. It helps pull this apart uh, to the back with the help of the trapeze as well. So here you have it divided in three. This one is stretched. They all go this way. You can see that, right? And on top of it, there's going to be, well, this is the triceps that is going to go on top of this lower muscle but it's going to go below this two other muscles. And the deltoids, because you see, when you're moving your arm this way, you're throwing your shoulder behind, so everything moves, so you can actually see all the three muscles of the deltoid. So you can see here that here you have one, here you have the other, and here you have the third one. Now, when you're doing this, the scapula, if you touch your own scapula, you will So here you have this attachment. There are the three muscles, these attachments, the back muscles, and all the strength of the trapeze is getting here. So clearly, when you're pulling your arm back, the trapeze uh, gets all the strength in this part. Like just between the scapulas, just a bit up. So yeah, so the shoulder blade actually holds the secret. I, I truly believe that it does. Like once you understand that every part of the back is moving and that the shoulder blade has a lot to do depending on where the arm is, it becomes a lot easier to learn how to draw the muscles of the shoulders and uh, once I kind of understood that I just went to try to see if that was true and this is what I found. Okay here we go wish me luck as you can see I already gave this a few tries now I'm going to use this pink I'm going to start with the muscles of that are attached to the scapula itself and nothing else there's our muscles that are the parts from the scapula and go into the arm. So the first one that is attached up here would be like this. There is the second one that pretty much does the same. And then there is this third one that is a bit covered by the first one that is going to go from underneath attached here. That looks uh, pretty easy. I have my practice so it's easy to figure this out. Now this one here would be like this as well and the one that is from underneath would be like quick taking this turn here. In uh, this case see since here well let's let's start talking about about a bit about the bones first. Now depending on what the arm is doing depending on how the scapula is going to move usually it just moves with the arm if the arm is going forward the scapula is going to slide forward to to a side from the you know sliding through the rib cage if you're lifting the arm is going to tilt accordingly if you're bringing your arms back and your shoulders back it's going to go closer into your spine and if you're pulling your arm back is going to lift you know following the motion of the arm using it as, as as the axis so in this particular case I'm telling you this because in this particular case since this are since these two scapulas are going to this center this means that something is pulling them now there are certain muscles that are doing this job the first one would be the trapeze you know this part of the trapeze to be more precise, I'm sorry, uh, I'm doing I'm doing all this on the wrong layer. And the other muscles that are at play for this particular thing 
are these two because what, what these two do is actually brings your shoulders backward those are the muscles that you're using to do this like quirk, bring them backward that's, those are the ones that you're using and this one in this particular case is doing absolutely nothing so it's just there just stretch going to this part but in this particular case these two muscles are not going to be bulky they're just relaxed because they're not doing anything but this one this is the muscle that actually does the job of bringing your arm back so here in this particular moment is going to be like really really bulky so in this for for this muscle group two muscles on the top are going to be doing their job here when pulling the shoulders back and this one the one from the bottom is going to be doing its job is going to be swelling when it's bringing the arm back not the shoulder but the arm now let's move on to what I think the trapeze is doing now you have the center here in this particular case the trapeze is doing nothing in fact it's going to be all pretty stretched because since this is going forward there's no reason for the trapeze to pull at all so it's just doing this pretty relaxed same thing here just doing nothing but here down here is the dorsal muscle and it's going to be well it's stretched as well but you have to draw that stretchiness right this is a muscle that comes from down here you can see that now let's move to this one the arm is up now the one that is going to be really prominent here is the dorsal muscle but also because it is uh, really, really stretched and, it's, and it really pops when you bring your uh, when you bring your arm up. Now here, the uh, trapeze is also going to be well. This part is going to be stretched, but this part is going to be doing some work, trying to pull the shoulder up. So it's going to be like pretty bloated here. Because it's doing like, it, it's getting really compressed. This part especially, this here. Here in this particular case, let me see. Yeah, you see here since you have to pull the arm up to have it on this position. The trapeze is doing its job and it's pulling so it's going to be pretty swollen here and because it is also bringing this part together it's going to be getting swollen here as well. So this you will be getting something like this. Like this to bulks of muscle because basically the trapeze does two functions one is compress this part and the one and the other one is to lift this part so depending on what they're doing like for example here this part is totally stretched and relaxed so there's no problem but if you're bringing the scapulas to the center this is going to get all compressed like this, right? And then in this particular case, let me see. Oh, it can be pretty, re pretty relaxed, unless you're lifting your shoulder a bit when bringing the uh, bringing the arm backward. It's cool. Let me see. I'm going to. I'm touching. Like maybe, ooh -hoo -hoo, maybe, well, if you're going to be drawing this diamond here, like maybe this part is relaxed, but this one gets a little bit bulky because, well, the scapula gets a little bit closer to the center. But just a bit, not too much. I did forget about 
doing the dorsal here, the dorsal muscle is going to be also, you can see here, let's finish the trapeze as well. Here the dorsal muscle should be a little bit more like popped because what the dorsal muscle does is it brings your arm down. This is what's, what pulls down. So in this particular case, since you're bringing it, let me see, you're bringing it, no, no, it should be pretty relaxed. No, forget about what I said. It should be pretty, pretty relaxed. So nothing to worry about here. Now, to the deltoid itself. What color should I choose? Because this is going to get a bit messy. Okay, let's go with this one. What we have to do is take really close attention to this part of the scapula. That is the one that attaches not only the trapeze, but also uh, the deltoid, the shoulder muscle. So, let me see. If the arm is going forward, so this should be something like this. I mean, this shoulder muscle should be like super stretched. The one on the top should be pretty bulky because it is pulling up. It's enough bulky. And you can't see the other part of the shoulder muscle. Also, what you have to consider is that when you're bringing your arm close to your chest, it is your it is your, pec uh, your pectoral muscle, the one that is doing all the pulling. I'm going to show you that on the next video. Because I didn't want to just, uh, you know, I wanted to focus on this first and then on the other things. So this is what the shoulder muscle would look like. Like this is pretty stretched. In this particular case, now I'm going to have like, uh, this is going to be super complicated for me. This is quite the challenge, okay? Because here's the thing, like the, the middle muscle of the deltoid should start somewhere around here because when you're lifting your arm you also uh, you also kind of flip it so from behind you should be able to see pretty much all of your deltoid muscle so I have to figure out how not not only how to do it but also how to do it from this angle <laughs> so it would be something like this because this is Uh, it would be something like this, I guess, like one, two, and then, you know, the other part of the deltoid would be covered by the trapeze. So one, two, yeah, that should be it, pretty much. Remember that this part, this muscle, the back muscle of the deltoid always is attached to the scapula so whatever you draw the scapula that's where this back part of the muscle should be now this one should be a lot easier now since the scapula is coming here this does this it should be actually pretty bulky because it is one of the things that is bringing the arm back This should be bulky too because you are lifting and this part should be pretty relaxed. It shouldn't matter that much. Maybe it shouldn't be so big. I mean doing this too big. Maybe it should be something more like this. And then this one, bringing it back. Let me see. Well, yeah, the back muscle of the deltoid is also doing a lot of work. 
I know it's pretty obvious, but I just wanted to check out. So it's going to be a bit bulky. So there you have it. I think it looks pretty okay. It looks a lot better than I thought it might look. Let me turn it around. Yeah, I'm still having some issues with this one. This one, I don't know so much. So that's pretty awesome, right? That kind of solves the problem of drawing shoulder muscles. Kinda, I mean. Now the only thing I had left was trying to figure out what each muscle did, depending on where the on what the arm was doing, like if it was moving up or down or backwards and all of that. I, well, I think I kind of figured it out. Now, what I've been thinking is, is that if I had to split uh, all the movements that the shoulder does, I consider that there are three movements. The first one is up and down, this way. The second movement is going to be to the sides, like this. And the third one is going to be like rotation in its own axis, like this and this. Right? This is something like when you move in like this, this is something that you can do because of that particular movement. Like also, you know, it's tilting your shoulder forward and backward, and also, you know, it's tilting all of the arm. I don't know if you can see this see this through the webcam, like that's the one. So what I did first of all, I really, really roughly did some drawings of what the muscles are, where the muscles are. So now, what I'm going to do is, well, let's make this a little bit lighter so it's easier to understand. Now, let's go through the muscles. Now, we're talking about this one is going up. Now, when you're lifting your arm that way, the first thing, if you're putting your hands on the shoulder, you'll see that the first thing that gets really, really hard is this, the frontal part of the deltoid. So that means that, you know, if muscles get like swollen when they're being used, this is the one that gets swollen first. Second, well, this one, the upper part of the deltoid is the one that helps, you know, to keep stabilize the arm. And then it is the trapezius that helps it keep it up. If you touch your shoulder, you will see that that is true. You will see that the part of the back of the deltoid is actually doing nothing, but the other two of the middle and the front are doing all the lifting plus the trapezius. Now as they lift, like the first one to do all the, all the work is this one, the frontal part of the deltoid, and the other ones start helping as soon as the arm gets a bit higher. Now, if we go to the other way, to to the back on the same axis, you will see that, well, here is where this part of the deltoid starts being used, but the one that is being used the most is actually this lovely muscle here. That is one of the three muscles that belong to, that are attached to the scapula, to the shoulder blade. That is the one that is pulling, because the two muscles that are on the top of the scapula are actually attached to this part of the arm. And we're going to see that in a minute. Now the lower one, the one that is doing all the pulling in this particular movement is actually attached to the front of the bone of the arm. So it's like grabbing it and pulling it backwards. It's like pulling it this way. And this one is pulling this way. In this particular case, this one, just to clarify, is doing this. Now let's move on. Now on this axis, like going this way, um, the one that is doing all, you know, you have to consider that since in this particular motion the arm is lifted, this one will be making like uh, a lot of strength to keep the arm up, but in the particular motion of doing this, it doesn't matter on the position that the arm is, the muscle that brings everything close together is actually 
your pectoral muscle. If you consider that it is going to be this muscle is attached to your arm and to your clavicle and to your sternum that is like this bone that goes right through your chest. This one is actually doing all the pulling. And honestly, that's actually pretty much all it does. Even though it's huge, it's the really big muscle, but well, all it does is just help you close your arms. Which was really useful when you used to walk in four legs. If you look at the pectorals of a gorilla, they're like a thousand times bigger because there's like all of this motion involved. And well, also, this part of the deltoid does its part on bringing it together, right? Now, if you go to the other side, like <laughs> this way, the one that is going to be doing all the pulling is going to be this one, the deltoid that is going to be helping pull. But uh, this moment is actually where um, these two muscles start doing things the teres major and the teres minor, these two, these are the ones that are pulling to the back. It's just this group that is doing most of the pulling, also because the scapula is going a bit, a bit uh, to the center, to near your spine, your uh, trapeze is going to be doing some pulling around here. Now if we go up just a bit, I didn't show you this. I drew this part of the trapeze like a little bit bulky, but it's not actually bulky because it's doing any strength. It is actually bulky because since you're sending your scapula up, you're moving all the muscle up and it's concentrating here. So it gets a bit bulky, but it's not doing any particular strength. So I'm going to just leave that. Now. If we move to the final motion, it is just doing this, bringing it together. Well, in this particular case, actually, it's the same, it's pretty much the same as this one, because it is also the pectoral muscle that is going to be doing all the pulling, with a little bit help of this one. And in this particular case, here on the back, you're going to be having this the terrace muscles doing all the pulling as well. This is actually what they do. The reason why you keep your shoulders where they usually are when you're standing straight is because those muscles are the ones that are pulling. So when you're bringing it really, really back, you're just using this part of, well, actually not the trapeze, but there's a muscle underneath the trapeze that is doing all the pulling. I don't remember the name of the muscle. Uh, here, as you can see, I drew this one pretty relaxed. This one is also pretty relaxed as well. And let me see. Is there anything else I am missing? Well, yes, I am. Okay, okay I'm back. I forgot about one. This one, what I'm talking about is lifting your arm up and down, up and down, yes. Now in this one, so when you're lifting your arm up, the muscle that is doing all the work here is going to be clearly the trapeze that gets all bulky because it is pulling and also the upper part of the deltoid because it is also lifting really up, 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 up. But it's super important, right? I mean, how could I forget that? And then for bringing down, finally, we're going to use the dorsal muscle, the one that is down here, this big chunk of muscle that we have that is going to be doing all the strength to pull down. You know, these two muscles that you use when you're doing pull-ups, these are the ones. How could I forget about these ones? I'm really sorry, really sorry. So here we have it, we are using all the muscles of the shoulder structure to do different things. 
Yeah, well, that's pretty much it. So that's it. What do you think? Did you like what I did? Do you think that any of this was any help? Let me know in the comments below. I think like, well, I still have a lot of like kind of bugs to understand, especially the trapezius where, you know, that, well, it moves kind of weird, but the base is there, which is what I was trying to find and to understand. Now I need to practice a lot. If you find this video useful, you can just start practicing from what we learned. Go to the link below and get the links and watch the tutorials that I found and enjoy it. And you know, let's get better at drawing together. So that's it for this week. My name is Javi, I can draw. Tomorrow I'm going to be starting new videos for something else. I haven't decided yet. But, well, that's it for this week. Subscribe if you like it. Leave me a comment if there's any particular subject that you want me to tackle. My name is Kavi. I can draw, and I'm sure that you can draw too. See you on the next video. Bye!